look at what are sines, cosine, and tangents as part of the trig review. From our last lesson, we labeled the sides of a right triangle by first locating the right angle, the hypotenuse, the angle of interest, the adjacent side, and lastly, the opposite side. In this le lesson, We'll review how sines, cosines, and tangents are related to each side and to the angle of interest in a right triangle. In other words, we're going to learn how to sin, tan, and cuss. A quick rate to remember the rule is SOHCAHTOA. A lot of students get easily confused with the words, but it's easy. Sines, cosines, and tangents, while they're difficult uh, words to say and they're not common in our vocabulary unless you're a, a math or science person they're nothing more than expressing the ratio of the length of two sides with regards to the angle of interest. The use of sines, cosines, and tangents comes from a long time ago when it was easier to measure lengths of triangle sides than it was to measure the angles of those triangles. The relationship that we do know for the lengths of the triangles is one of them that's important is the Pythagorean theorem, where a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, where we're using the adjacent and opposite for a squared and b squared, that mean, means the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared equals the hypotenuse squared. To relate the opposite side to the hypotenuse to, for the ratio, O divided by H, is called the sine of the angle theta. Theta, remember, is our angle of interest. So sine of theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. The abbreviation for sine looks like sin, but it said sine. So that's where the so and socatoa comes from. Likewise, the word cosine of the angle theta is just the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. We would write this as cosine of the angle of interest theta equals a divided by h. COS, which looks like cos, is pronounced cosine. So cosine of theta equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Finally, the word tangent of the angle theta is the ratio of opposite divided by adjacent. So the tangent, abbreviated TAN, of theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Let's look at the builder's triangle with the sides 3, 4, and 5. In this case, the sine of theta, which is opposite divided by hypotenuse, is 4 divided by 5, which is the hypotenuse. The cosine of theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, or 3 divided by 5. And finally, the tangent of theta is the opposite divided by the adjacent, or 4 divided by 3. In this case, we can write that as 1.3 repeating. Let's look at another triangle where the sides are 6, 9, and 10.82. In this case, we'll use the first angle as being theta, which is the lower left-hand corner. The right angle is shown by the square and the left-hand corner. So the sine of the angle is the opposite side, which I've labeled 6 divided by 10.82, which is the hypotenuse. The cosine of theta is 9 divided by 10.82, and the tangent of theta is 6 divided by 9, which is the opposite divided by the adjacent. Now, if we look at the other angle, what I'm going to call beta, 
which is on the top left-hand corner. The sine of beta is 9 divided by 10.82. The cosine of beta is 6 divided by 10.82. And the tangent of beta is 9 divided by 6, which is the exactly uh, backwards from the other angle, but uh, theta, which makes sense because it, we're talking about how it's related to the angle beta, not the original angle in the previous slide. I hope this helps you review what sine, cosine, and tangent are. Remember, sine is nothing but the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and tangent is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. In the next slide, we'll review how you calculate the angles given the sides, or the side giving the angle plus another side. So, see you next time.